Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Saturday morning webinar, Rain International. This is Russell Cowley, Vice President of North America Sales. Folks, we have a fantastic lineup for you this morning, packed full of information about our wonderful product, Soul. Folks, this morning's going to be wonderful. The presenter that we have for us today, Dr. Bradford Weeks, absolutely a pleasure and an honor and so, so appreciative to him for setting a time, his uh, busy schedule, to share with us some valuable insight on the power of soul. With that being said, Dr. Weeks, I'd like to turn the time over to you. And again, I'd like to express a big thank you for sharing your time with us. Certainly. And good morning, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on this webinar off the coast of America on a little island called Whidbey Island, just a little north of Seattle. And so for all of you who are uh, calling in from the Midwest, I was there recently where it was 40 below, and I was in New England where it was 20 below, so I hope that you're all warm. For, your, for those of you in California, it's time to develop some empathy for everybody else. Now, I'm a medical doctor. I trained back at the University of Vermont and at Dartmouth uh, Hitchcock Medical Center, and I studied uh, psychiatry and neurology, but I went into medicine after having done some PhD preparatory work at Massachusetts General Hospital uh, studying uh, endocrinology, basically mineral metabolism with Dr. Robert Neer. And then I was quite fortunate to work with Dr. Michael Hollick, who many of you know as now he's considered Mr. Vitamin D. So we've paid a lot of attention to nutrition and endocrinology through the years. Uh, also, I'm a, I'm a beekeeper. I've been an organic beekeeper for the past 30 years. I pay a lot of attention to our natural environment, and that's why we live in this little piece of paradise here off the coast of America on Whidbey Island. I say that by way of introduction because part of what we're doing here today is I'm making myself available as a resource for all of you if you have questions or if you want your doctors to speak with me. Uh, I have studied extensively now the nutritional components of seeds in general and the seeds which are the ingredients of soul in particular, and I am quite enthusiastic. So this, this is just the beginning of our relationship. If you uh, have questions, you'll be able to email them to Russ. He'll pass them on to me. We'll get your questions answered. Uh, there is tremendously powerful and impressive science behind the product called soul, and I want you to learn about that, and that's the purpose of this uh, a webinar today. This will be recorded, so certainly come back and pay attention to it as you need to. Now, um, I have raised uh, with my wife, Laura, four children, and we have eaten organic food all the way along because if you don't know this, you must understand that the pesticides and the toxins in the environment are concentrated in the seeds. They are concentrated in the oily components of the plant, and of the oily components of the plant, the seed is primary. So I am very grateful that Rain is using organic seeds, and I'm very grateful that they have been able to take these seeds and process them in a way which retains their nutrient value. And not only their nutrient value, but all of the other components, which I'll go into in detail, which the seed affords us. Seed nutrition is the frontier. There's wonderful juices and magic fruits from all over the world, but the seed is where the future of nutrition is, and so we'll talk about that. In my medical practice, also quickly by way of introduction, for the past 25 years, what I've focused on is helping people get off of medications. As a medical doctor, I approve of medications. They save lives, they're fabulous, but as everyone knows, they're often too expensive, and they have very serious side effects. So if we can use medications appropriately, which means typically short term, while we're seeking for the problem, the actual underlying problem, which is typically a nutrient imbalance, too much of this or too little of that, once we correct that nutrient imbalance, happily the medication becomes redundant. So typically, if you know people who are on medications, it's only because their doctor hasn't focused on how to get them off the medications, 
by replenishing their nutrient deficiencies. And I have to tell you, after working with Seoul for the past uh, six or eight months, I'm astonished at how superior Seoul is to medications. It's not a medication. It's not a drug. And I want to make sure everyone understands that. But what it does, as you'll see, is Seoul helps the body be healthy enough that it rebalances its imbalances and therefore synthetic patented drugs become obsolete. Okay, so let's go through this PowerPoint quickly. And um, rather than lingering on a lot of the slides, what I'll do is I'll go through relatively quickly because it will be recorded and people can come back for more information. So typically I will make a statement in these slides and if people don't believe the statement, for example, that the black cumin seed has been proven to have powerful anti-cancer effects in a number of molecular ways, including, for those of you who pay attention to this, stimulating P53, which is a cancer suppressor gene. It's an oncogene which shuts down cancer. And if you can stimulate P53, Soul is composed of a seed which stimulates P53, which shuts down cancer. Now, does that mean that soul cures your cancer? No, but it does mean that soul helps your body deal more effectively with the challenge of cancer. Now, for an oncologist listening in, that would be pretty shocking news that this two-ounce packet of delicious crushed seed can do what his chemotherapy drugs are doing, which is to stimulate P53. So we'll go through some of those in detail, but again, I'm going to make some pretty outlandish claims here because I know how powerful this product is. And if anybody doesn't believe it, the references are in this PowerPoint. So again, good morning, everybody, and here we go. The first thing that I want to show, and I'm going to try to uh, make this work like this. The first thing I want to show is the next slide. So Russ, there we are. The goals for this presentation, as you can see, fundamentally, we want to make sure that we have a good nutrition. Now, nutrition comes first, good food, good water, and then we can talk about supplements, including soul. And then lastly, we can talk about things like medications. But let's have a good nutrition. And that doesn't just mean choosing good food. It means choosing to not eat bad food. We'll go through some of that. I'm also going to share what's specifically interesting about seeds, what's unique about soul, and remind you again that soul does not treat diseases. Soul helps the body do its work. Finally, since we're talking about seeds, I'm going to encourage you as a business builder to think more like a gardener than like a salesperson. This is really not a sales business. This is a teaching business, which is why teachers do really well in this business. And fundamentally, gardeners do the best because it's not just about throwing seeds down and hoping they grow. It's about coming back and talking with the people that you've encouraged to join your business and to help them as a gardener would water and nourish the seed. Now, Lao Tzu, the great Chinese philosopher, a lot of people have paid attention to seeds, and he says to see things in the seed that is genius. And I'd like to tip my hat right now to all the people in RAIN International, and particularly our president, Byron Belka, because he saw what's in the seed. And he's pioneering the entire industry of seed nutrition. But Lao Tzu said, to see things in the seed, that is genius. Now, my brother Stuart, who's a great fan of Henry David Thoreau, said that Thoreau quoted, I have great faith in a seed. Convince me that you have a seed there, and I am prepared to expect wonders. And I have to tell you, folks listening in, you have a seed in your product soul. You have three seeds, the black cumin, the black raspberry, and the Chardonnay grape seed. And you should be prepared to expect wonders, because these seeds are doing miraculous things. My practice is holistic medicine. We call it corrective health, because what we do is we correct the imbalances, and then the body takes off. And what we've done over the years is to try to empower people. It's coincidental, but kind of nice that our old logo you'll see on the right is kind of like a seed. I think that's kind of nice. Now, here's a little bit of Whidbey Island. We grow almonds, we grow raspberries, we grow grapes. 
And if you look here in the middle, you'll see the parts of the seed. And I want to call your attention initially to the seed coat. And what's interesting for you to understand, and this is fascinating biology, is that there's more nutrition in the seed coat than in the rest of the seed. That's almost like a lamination of polymannose and other sugars. So that's an extraordinary accomplishment. And the biologists who work with uh, agriculture, who I know, tell me that the plant exerts more effort. It costs more energy to ripen the seed than to grow the rest of the fruit. So we're really addressing the treasure chest of the plant and that's the seed. And it's a good thing that Byron Velka and the team at Rain International include the ground up husk of the seed in the soil because that's a nutrient treasure house. Now, the most important medical consideration for you to talk with your colleagues about in terms of the benefit of the product soul is that it's an anti-inflammatory food not a drug, not a medicine, it's a food. It's made from the seeds of three highly anti-inflammatory plants. And what's important about inflammation? Well, inflammation is all people are talking about in the news nowadays. All chronic major degenerative illnesses hurt you by way of inflammation. And if you can cut down chronic inflammation, you're going to cut down the suffering from most every major illness. For example, although I was taught 25 years ago that inflammation always resulted in pain, so if you had, a, you had a sore ankle or a sore knee, you had inflammation there, it is the case, ladies and gentlemen, that if you're listening to this webinar and have no pain at all, you are still most likely suffering from inflammation because we now know that not only is obesity related to chronic inflammation, but also chronic cellular aging, the march of time, is an inflammatory process, which if you address with effective, safe anti-inflammatory agents, you're in a situation where you're going to slow down aging. Now, arthritis, of course, is inflammatory, but we can go even more particular to the cytokines which are released in an inflammatory process which are the destroyers of your cartilage and your joints. Cardiovascular disease, the heart disease, the stroke and the, and the heart attack, that begins with a inflammatory process and it kills through inflammation. It leads to the calcification and the blockage. Most importantly, cancer itself is not dangerous unless it metastasizes sizes. Many people upon death from a heart attack or something are found to have had cancers. When I was working in the, uh, as a deaner in the wards of Beth Israel Hospital in Boston, we typically would find people upon autopsy who had cancer and they never knew it. So the problem is if they had a lot of inflammation it would have metastasized. So the lady who has had a breast taken off and the doctor says, don't worry, you're, you're cured of cancer, she had better be paying attention to her, her, her inflammation markers because if the breast is off with the cancer but there's still cancer stem cells around and she has inflammation in her life, they will spread. So if you want to stop cancer metastasis, you need powerful anti-inflammatories. Finally, I mentioned stem cells. It's a very interesting development in oncology today. Stanford just received $90 million to study this in a grant. The cancer metastasis is an inflammatory process, but also the recruitment of healthy stem cells to become dangerous cancer stem cells works through an inflammatory process. Lastly, schizophrenia and psychosis. These are considered significantly inflammatory processes. So diabetes, etc. no matter what's going on inside you, you will be healthier if you can tone down the inflammation. And as you know, most of the drugs on the market just deal with one component of the whole inflammatory cascade, and they have typically very, very serious side effects. Aspirin will make your gut bleed and you'll die from loss of blood. A lot of the COX inhibitors have been taken off the market for all sorts of reasons. So to do anti-inflammation safely and effectively has been an elusive goal of the pharmaceutical companies, 
we have that benefit with these natural seed products. Okay, now just to underscore that a bit, here's an article uh, published in 2010, comes out of Harvard, and they basically are saying that if you want to interfere with inflammation, that's the new strategy to block breast cancer, self-renewal, and progression. Self-renewal and progression is a way of saying metastases. Ladies and gentlemen, if people you know and love have cancer, they need to be taking soul to help their body create enough anti-inflammatory process to shut down the metastases. Here's an interesting piece on infertility. I'm going to show you different examples of how inflammation can hurt you. Women suffering from asthma, another inflammatory process, are more likely to have difficulty becoming pregnant because there's inadequate circulation to the womb based on inflammatory problems. Very interesting little piece there. How about asthma again? 10% of American children now and 235 million people worldwide are suffering from asthma. Asthma is a very easy disease to treat. You fix the food to get the anti-inflammatory foods in the diet and the pro-inflammatory foods out of the diet. And then uh, a product like Soul can shut down the symptoms of asthma very quickly. But 10% of American children, ladies and gentlemen, this is astonishing. Now, Alzheimer's. All of us are paying attention to Alzheimer's, of course. Alzheimer's is an inflammatory disease. If you know people who are suffering from memory disorders or are on their way to Alzheimer's, you need to be giving them some soul. What we know is that anti-inflammatory approaches that may not cure Alzheimer's disease will likely help slow the progression or the development of this devastating disorder. If you didn't know that Alzheimer's was an inflammatory disease, that's important information. Here's another piece of the information. It shows that the, <clears throat> the additional studies link the COX-2, that's a cyclooxygenase enzyme, to the loss of brain cells. So also Parkinson's disease, folks, and Lou Gehrig's disease require anti-inflammatory uh, efforts. All right, now, um, diabetes and obesity, there's a new term, diabetes. They're really related. It's an autoimmune inflammatory disorder, and inflammation may be the single most important mechanism driving this, this diabetic obesity epidemic. Okay, now um, let's talk about humor for a minute. I've given you a lot of bad news. I like this uh, joke. The uh, doctor says, we found a mass. The good news is that we have weapons of mass destruction. Now. I'm not talking about chemotherapy, I'm talking about the U.S. diet. That really is the weapon of mass destruction. And here's an article from 2008 warning China and Japan that they would do well to avoid the American diet, which has given them higher rates of American diseases. Cancer and diabetes and so forth are typically American uh, diseases. Not to say that they don't happen in other countries based on environmental toxicity, mercury and so forth. But, um, but America really leads the way in bad nutrition. Now, the SAD diet, the standard American diet, I don't have to go into detail on this. These make sense to you if you're paying attention to soul. You avoid your white sugar, your refined carbohydrates, your trans fatty acids, high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified plants, dairy, which is typically polluted with antibiotics and a lot of hormones including bovine growth hormone. If you're one of those nice folks who grew up on a farm like I did with the dairy farming and loved milk, I just want to remind you the cows that are being milked today are not the same as the cows that are being milked 40, 50, 60 years ago. The cows that are being milked today are being converted into little micro factories and the product is not healthy. And remember, fast food leads to poor digestion and obesity. So in contrast, here's what you have when you have soul. Now, I have to tell you that I received this document and I haven't personally been able to validate it as accurate. So I can't vouch for the 8 to 10 servings of fruit and 8 to 10 servings of vegetables and the 2 to 3 servings of healthy oils in each of these 2 ounce packets. But I'm betting that it's pretty close because I've seen some remarkable results. And I know people who have actually gone on a soul fast 
eating nothing but five or six packets of sole a day and lost considerable weight in a healthy way because they're well nourished. So maybe it's only going to be six servings of food, but the fact of the matter is the seed itself is a concentrated reserve of nutrition. The plant puts all its eggs in one basket and it calls it a seed. The seeds are 20-fold more nutritious than the rest of the plant. It's the treasure chest, and I would eat seeds before I eat anything else because the seeds are where the most nutrition is. Now, you know this yourselves because you eat lentils and you eat almonds. Those are seeds. Uh, but what happens when we eat cantaloupe or when we eat watermelon is we typically spit out the seeds. We spit out the apple seed because the plant is smart enough to put all of its nutrients in the seed with the hope that the hard husk and the bitter taste will uh, inhibit breaking the husk and digesting the seed. So what Soul has done is they've taken that bitter, hard to digest nutrient treasure chest and they've crushed it up and they've added some, some D-ribose, which is a safe five carbon sugar, and some sweetener and they have made that a delicious way to drink what is otherwise a very bitter, hard to digest food. So those husks in the seed of soul, um, you want those husks. Let's talk about Mad in America, a very good book uh, which talks about how we're going crazy in this country. We're violent, we're aggressive, we're short-tempered, we're depressed in America because we're eating low-fat foods. The brain is 60% fat and you need to feed your brain with healthy oils, not trans fatty acids. Trans fatty acids in the 1940s, Dr. Kuzmeier said they cause cancer definitively. It's been shown that these trans fatty acids, which are the majority of oil eaten in America, that these increase all these chronic inflammatory diseases because trans fats, which are artificial, are highly inflammatory. Okay, no more uh, McDonald's uh, French fries. Make sure, you're, make sure you're eating good oils. If you eat good oils, you will excrete out your bad oils. This is the, what we call the physiologic oil change. You treat your car pretty well, you change that oil, change your own oil. If you eat the healthy oils, you'll clean up the skin. But here's the warning. You can have a transient experience of some headaches because as those bad oils come out of storage, if you're not well hydrated, drinking plenty of water, those hormones and pesticides and other toxins and heavy metals which we have quarantined in our fat cells. That's where we put the junk. Remember I said in the beginning the seeds are where the, where the pesticides are concentrated so that's why you have to be eating organic seeds. But we store that junk in the uh, fat cells and so it's time to uh, get those out. You can have a little bit of transient headache. Don't worry about that. That's not a bad side effect of the eating of the good oil. It's just a cleaning of house. Very important. Now I mentioned that the seed research is the most important and exciting research in food science today. And I have to tell you, there are a variety of research centers around America which are devoted exclusively to seeds. We just know the tip of the iceberg at this point. But here are some studies on blueberry seeds and boysenberry seeds, etc. So be watching for seed nutrition in the news. Because as I said, it's the treasure chest of the plant. It's really an embryo. It's a time capsule. It's protected by the bitter shells. The shell itself is a condensation of nutrient-dense polymannose. That's the molecule. And the seed is on a mission to reproduce itself, so it's quite persistent and resilient. As I said, uh, the purpose of digestion is to break these seeds down so that the seed oils can transfer their own genetic material, the, MRI, the messenger RNA and the DNA, into your cells to help regenerate your cells because the RNA, the ribonucleic acid, that sends messages to your cell's DNA. Cancer is a destruction of your cell's DNA. That's how it works. So the seed nutrition can help reinforce your DNA, optimizing function. And where is DNA concentrated in food and plants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's in the seed. Now, here's a little piece of regeneration which I thought was interesting. This is a 91-year-old fellow. After three months on Seoul, after 25 years of being proud of his white hair, quite distinguished gentleman, we see the hair coming in black. I met a woman in, um, 
in Berlin as well, a white-haired lady who said her hair was coming in black. So look for this in your, in your friends and colleagues because this is an example of regeneration. I'm not saying that soul is the only thing that can do this. I think seed nutrition can do this, but seeds are hard to digest. And soul is a very easily digested feast of seeds. So I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, this gentleman, not only is his hair regenerating to black, but the rest of his organ systems are regenerating as well. This is what we, you and I would call an anti-aging remedy. Nothing fancy, just the seeds. As I said, we're taught not to put all our eggs in one basket, but that's what Mother Nature does. She calls it a seed. The seed husk, as I mentioned, is a condensed polymannose, which enhances absorption, but also uh, it amplifies a very interesting cell. For you science uh, geeks out there, research this cell, the CD14. This is really like the, uh, we could call this the, the conductor in the symphony of the stem cell orchestra. If you want your stem cells to work well, CD14 is the conductor, and CD14 is in the seed husk. So a lot of people say to me, is this seed uh, drink, this soul, just going to suppress my um, pain, suppress my symptom, or is it going to help regenerate? And I think what we're doing, because of the CD14 component of the cells, we're actually sending into the sore joint not only an architect and a general contractor, but also the skilled craftsmen. They're actually repairing the joint. That's pretty exciting. So again, if you can eat the seed and if you can eat the seed husk, you're going to get this CD14 cell. Now, uh, Laura and I have been uh, helping people with dietary changes and nutritional support and exercise and lifestyle uh, for the past 20 years. We have been focusing on nutrition in order to help people not need to take drugs, and often we recommend specific supplements. So I have to tell you that the supplement industry is rife with fraud. It is rarely the case that what you see on the bottle of the nutritional supplement, the label, is actually what's contained inside the bottle. So we need to shop carefully and have confidence in the integrity of the people who are manufacturing products. So we do our due diligence when we're checking dietary supplements. So I want to tell you the four criteria that we have used for 20 years to make sure we have good integrity with our nutritional supplement recommendation. The first thing, of course, is, is this an intelligent formulation? Do the, do the ingredients work well together? And the answer in Seoul is that it's fabulous. It's tremendously wise. We also look look at the integrity of sourcing. Was quality maintained from the harvest to the processing plant? Because you can pick a fruit someplace in Borneo which is full of magic juices, but if it is transported for you know 48 uh, days to the manufacturing facility, you could lose a lot of quality of course. And in this case, what's special about seeds? They don't degenerate. We found them in the tombs of pharaohs. They can still be planted and grow rice or whatever they were. So you don't lose the integrity of the seed nutrition from harvest to manufacturing. Let's talk about the integrity of the processing. What I'm pleased with with the rain company is that they do this very quickly and they retain the nutritional process of the crushed seeds in a vacuumed package like this uh, plastic uh, package, not plastic, this flexible package. So it's a quick process. They don't let it hang around and dry and oxidize. It's a quickly packaged product which retains its value. And then what's on the label? <clears throat> is it what's in the finished package? And the answer is yes. So we're excited about that. I mentioned that the formulation is kind of a very wise formulation. And indeed, I'm going to show you how the ingredients in Seoul are synergistic and that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Black raspberry, Chardonnay grapeseed, black cumin seed, these all have overlapping benefits which amplify each other. They all have anti-cancer benefits, they all have anti-inflammatory benefits, but they all have different benefits as well. Now you mix that with D-ribose, which is a 5-carbon sugar. That's different from a 6-carbon sugar, which will make your diabetes worse. 5-carbon sugar will actually lower your blood sugar. <coughs> and that's why part of the ingredient is to have a little cane juice 
because if we gave this product to healthy people, they would develop low blood sugar. So when your friends and family say, what is sugar doing in this ingredient, you have to remind them that it, it is required because without the D-ribose, we'd be getting people into fainting spells. So that's an overview of how these four ingredients contribute wonderfully to a synergistic effect. ORAC stands for Oxygen Radical Absorptive Capacity. It's kind of the industry standard of how anti-inflammatory and antioxidant is your product. And this is a very interesting uh, um, uh, description from Brunswick Lab, which is kind of the good housekeeping seal of approval a laboratory for the nutritional industry. And they consider, to the best of my knowledge, that the RAIN product, Soul, is by far the most powerful scavenger of free radicals, the most oxidant. And show them this slide. I'm glad to say that RAIN and uh, the people involved are, are pushing this boundary, and Brunswick Lab is doing new tests because they're so impressed with this product, they want to learn more about its power. Now, I mentioned nutrition is not just selecting good food, it's avoiding bad food, like the trans fatty acids. This is just a quick slide by a very famous doctor, Andy Weil, who says that he's still not comfortable recommending people eat saturated fat, like coconut, which I would say is a very beneficial saturated fat. But it's clear to him that sugar, flour, and oxidized seed oils create inflammatory effects and that the body almost certainly will bear most of the responsibility that these bear most of the responsibility for elevating heart disease what do we learn here we learn here that if you're typically eating flax oil flax seed oil or other seed oils and you're drinking those out of a I don't know a one liter bottle or a or a or a bottle where you open the top and you take a couple tablespoons and then you put it back in the refrigerator, those large servings, those bottles of seed oils, they oxidize. And here's what's interesting. Here's Dr. Weil saying, even though you think you're helping yourself with a big bottle of seed oils, if you let it oxidize, it'll do more damage than just avoiding the oil in the first place. And so what's good about the sole product is that our two to three servings of cold pressed seed oils, these are organic oils, our, our uh, two to three servings of that, they are not oxidized because they're packaged individually in a one dose per flexible pack situation. Very wise, very foresighted. <coughs> now I'm going to go into some specific detail about the black cumin seed. And again, this was astonishing to me. But I can tell you that one of the prime ingredients in black cumin seed has been very, very well studied. And this is not Dr. Weeks telling you this information. This is published material. The crude black cumin seed oil and its most active ingredient, thymoquinone, are effective against many diseases like cancer, cardiovascular complications, diabetes, asthma, kidney disease, etc. It is also effective against cancers of the blood, that's leukemia and lymphoma, lung cancers, kidney cancers, liver cancers, prostate cancers, breast cancers, cervical cancer, skin cancer. So again, the scientific literature says what you have in the product soul is effective against many diseases. Now these results suggest that this nigella sativa, the black cumin, can cut pain, analgesic, and its anti-inflammatory anti effects are not opioid regulated. Now, I think that's important because in my treatment historically of many cancer patients, they're on op opioid medications. And opioid medications are very effective at cutting pain, but guess what? They also suppress the immune system. So it's a deal with the devil to take the opioid pain medications because you might feel better but your immune system is put out of whack. So the black cumin seed can help with pain by a non-opioid mechanism. So a lot of those cancer patients have switched to soul and don't need as much of the pain medication. And they're being well-nourished and they're getting the benefits. Black raspberry also 
It's been found to be effective against cervical cancer, against oral, esophageal, and colon cancer, against breast cancer, against skin cancers, and also against ulcerative colitis. And this is, again, ladies and gentlemen, just the tip of the iceberg. So black raspberry seed is a powerful, beneficial agent. Here's the Chardonnay grapeseed, anti-proliferative. That means anti-metastatic. That means that if you take your Chardonnay grapeseed, you will shut down the ability of the cancer to proliferate. Studies have found that grapeseed extracts may prevent the growth of these cancers, breast, stomach, colon, prostate, lung. Now, this is in test tubes. Some of this work has not been done in humans. Hepatitis, or if you know people whose liver is being ravaged by chemotherapy, guess what? Grapeseed extract may also help prevent damage to human liver cells caused by chemotherapy medication. I'm giving you a slide on each of these agents, but if you look at uh, some of the literature or if you have further questions, we can go into some more detail because each of these um, nutrients, these ingredients in Seoul, has huge amount of scientific validation behind it. I'm just showing you a bit of it. Here we have a study that the grapeseed extract <coughs> helps address obesity, reduce obesity development, published in 2009. Resveratrol is the most famous ingredient of the grapeseed extract. It's anti-cancer, anti-cholesterol, anti-hypertriglyceridemia, so it helps with your blood levels. But I know you saw this. It's also used in Ayurvedic medicine as an aphrodisiac. D-ribose, I mentioned, is that 5-carbon sugar. It's been shown scientifically to improve mood in people. It improves athletic performance. It boosts muscle energy and recovery. It improves the symptoms of chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and coronary artery disease. And it prevents symptoms of cramping, pain, and stiffness for all of you weekend warriors. It also most significantly lowers blood sugar. It does that by preventing the release of stored blood sugar from cells into the bloodstream. So therefore, soul needs to have a little cane sugar in it to prevent the hypoglycemia. Now that's kind of a brief overview of the ingredients. I'm just going to take a time to kind of whip through these next slides for the sake of time. I don't want to take too much of time. But here we have the publication, 2004, that black cumin seed, although it's been used for centuries, we now know that the extract, thymoquinone, triggers the death of cancer cells via a P53 dependent mechanism. Again, I referenced P53 as the cancer suppressor gene. That's the holy grail of medicine. Anything which has P53 dependent mechanism stimulation is worth its weight in gold. You can't patent black cumin seed, and so no oncologists are talking about it. Here we have more about that thymoquinone, the anti-tumor effects. We see that the combination of thymoquinone and conventional chemotherapeutic drugs produces greater therapeutic effect. Now listen to that, ladies and gentlemen. What the science is saying, February 2012, is that everybody getting conventional chemotherapy would have greater effect and reduced toxicity if they had thymoquinone added to their regimen. Also, in small print, you see that the thymoquinone works to exhibit anti-cancer activity through many mechanisms. I mentioned P53. There's also P73, P10, STAT3. These are all things that oncologists would recognize and say, really? The soul has that effect on cancer patients? So get that information out to your friends who are doctors. It's also been shown that this ingredient in thole, as well as reduced glutathione, a naturally occurring agent, have antiperoxidative effects, and that basically means they can scavenge the free radicals as an antioxidant benefit. And so, if you're taking ionizing radiation-related uh, treatments like x-ray radiation or radiation treatment, these help protect your tissues against the radiation, CAT scans, MRIs, not MRIs, CAT scans, x-rays and such. Pretty exciting there. Now, we also know that um, this product, uh, thymoquinone in particular, has been um, extensively studied for its treatment of inflammatory diseases and cancer. I'm going to run through these a little more quickly given the time. Here we see it's a cancer 
chemopreventive potential from that black cumin seeds. And here we see it's anti-neoplastic and anti-inflammatory. But what's interesting about this slide is that the combination of thymoquinone and anti-cancer drugs, chemo drugs, has led to improvements in their therapeutic index and prevents non-tumor tissues from sustaining chemotherapy-induced damage. If you're taking chemotherapy and you don't want your own tissues to be traumatized by the chemotherapy drugs, if you don't want to lose hair, if, if you don't want to have bleeding gastrointestinal ulcers, we now know, based on the science published in 2006, that the ingredients in soul will help shield your cells from the damage of chemotherapy, but will not interfere with chemotherapy killing the cancer cells. More on the same, I'm going to kind of go through these. You can look at them as you want. Um, osteosarcoma, a terrible bone cancer. We see that thymoquinone effectively inhibits tumor growth and angiogenesis in, in little test tubes and in living models, and it uh, it it, uh, is, it demonstrates anti-tumor and anti-tumor spreading or blood coming to the tumors uh, with osteosarcoma, a horrible cancer. I'm going to shift here and talk about memory. We're getting back to the topic of Alzheimer's. Here's a study from July of 2013 that shows that the black seed, that's NS, nigella sativa, has neuroprotective kidney protective, lung protective, cardioprotective, liver protective effects. That means that this study shows that if you have black cumin seed, it will enhance memory, attention, and cognition. Did you hear me say attention? Are you paying attention? Do your kids have attention deficit disorder? Do you know kids with attention deficit disorder? Those kids are most likely malnourished. Either they're not being fed good foods or they're being fed junk foods. But if you give them the soul, the, the science says the ingredients in soul helps their attention and cognition. It will also nourish them well. Eight to ten servings of fruits and vegetables, three to, uh, two to three servings of seed oils. It will help them change their oil, get their brain working better. So that's attention. If you're paying attention to people like um, folks who have Alzheimer's, also very important. Osteosarcoma again. Now what I do, just for your information, I wake up in the morning and I take a packet of soul. I drink 90% of it. I then brush my teeth with a little bit of it so I get those powerful anti-inflammatory oils into my gum. And then I rub the remaining on whatever sore part of my body I might have, a knee, a hip, a back, whatever. And here's what Americans do. They pick up a, a, a tub of toothpaste. And if you look at the warning label, the fluoride in the toothpaste is such a toxic substance that the warning on the, the toothpaste I saw said, keep out of reach of children under the age of six. If more, than, if more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, call the doctor. Call the poison control center. So don't you think it would be making more sense to brush your teeth with the sole and avoid the things like the fluoride? Okay. We've gone through some of the science, and I just want to reiterate for you all, if you want this company to survive, we cannot make drug claims. I can't stress that enough. It's a legal issue in America. It's a freedom of speech issue, which hasn't been well resolved yet. I'm not talking about logic. I'm talking about legalese. What you can say is the ingredients in Seoul have been scientifically proven to do A, B, and C. But you can't say, Seoul cured my cancer, Seoul cured my diabetes, Soul cured my arthritis. You have to say the ingredients of soul have been shown to be effective against these ailments. But you can't make the claim about the whole product. Otherwise, you'll put the whole company in, uh, in danger. But here's what we typically say. Soul helps your body do its job better. It helps the body act optimally. It nourishes the body. It nutritionally supports the body to face the challenges. It helps the body reduce toxins. Soul doesn't reduce toxins. Soul helps the body reduce toxins. Soul doesn't heal injuries. It helps the body heal itself. Okay? Here we are with a summary of that. Soul does not correct or prevent illness or disease because soul is not a drug. The body is doing the work and soul helps the body because it's the optimal nutrition. It's seed nutrition 
at its highest because it's been ground up, it's been preserved in terms of its ORAC value, it's been packaged instantly so all the nutrients are preserved and they don't oxidize, and you take one package twice a day, first thing in the morning, brush your teeth, last thing at night, it'll help reduce aches and pains and, pre and prevent uh, being woken up from pain. So it's, um, it's a fabulous product to take twice a day. And uh, what I tell people is soul supports optimal, useful life processes. You might remember that. Soul supports optimal, useful life processes. It is not a drug. Okay, I'm going to end with a couple of enthusiastic words, I hope. You guys, are not, you guys are gardeners. You're not salespeople. It's not enough to simply plant a seed and enroll people. You have to nourish the seed. You have to support them. Help your partners get on this webinar, learn about what they have in their hands so they can make some changes. Here's Debbie Boone who says, dreams are the seeds of change. <clears throat> Again, we're staying with the seed metaphor. Nothing ever grows without a seed and nothing ever changes without a dream. Confucius says, if you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If you think in terms of 10 years, plant a tree. But if you're trying to have a long-term effect, if you think in terms of 100 years, teach people. Don't sell people. Teach them. You have in your hands one of the most powerful nutritional agents I have seen in my 20 years of practice. It is unique. It is fabulously constructed. It is brilliantly composed in terms of its uh, agents. And if you can teach people about this, you'll make some very significant changes. You might turn your white hair black, for all I know. So I once met a gentleman who was a very powerful businessman, and I pitched him a deal, and he said, is this network marketing? And I said, absolutely. And he said, good, I was looking for a network marketing company. And I said, why is that? And he told me, network marketing is like an orchard. First year, much work. After that, never hungry. So if you teach your people well, you'll be that type of a gardener. I'm going to turn this back to Russ. Thank you all for your attention. I've gone over 30 minutes. I'm pretty enthusiastic about this. I want you all to consider me available for questions. I'd love to be helpful as the seed doctor. I can speak with your doctors and your, your professionals who are skeptical. Um, but um, God bless us all on this uh, beautiful Saturday morning. Russ, I'll turn it back to you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Weeks. And I believe that I can speak for everybody in attendance that that was absolutely time well spent. So much appreciate your time. And folks, we will likely get this information out soon, if uh, uh, even probably likely broadcast it again next week. Let's get our, our friends, our family aware of this information and, and teach them just as Dr. Weeks said. Absolutely fantastic, folks. With that being said, I hope that you spend the rest of this day and, and the week to come really sharing this information with those that you love, getting the word out. And with that being said, folks, have an absolutely fantastic day. And again, thank you so much, Dr. Weeks. Take care, everyone.